Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Golden Goal Show, Season 2, Episode 33. Welcome to the show, everybody, after, oh, uh, an odd week of football, if I might say, because there are some teams out that you would never expect to be out, and there are some teams in, possibly, in the World Cup that you may never know. Hey, but everybody, welcome to the show. Welcome on listening on Spotify. Welcome listening on YouTube. Welcome listening just through a camp. Just get into it. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. But everybody, welcome to the show after the long intro. But everybody, let me introduce you first to my co-owner of the show, Abed, my fellow Hello, Barcelona friend. fan and other fans. Introduce yourself, only fans. It was a boring week for everybody. But hey, we had a small surprise. Very true. Although, very true. will it be called a surprise? It's not the first time it happens. It's back to back. That now. is true. Back to back. Yeah, that is very true. Okay, well, welcome to the show, Alvin. And also, let me introduce you to a fellow Chelsea fan. Hello, how are you, sir? Good, sir. I am amazing today, Fong. How about yourself? I am absolutely, you know, I'm just, it's nice outside. It's That's the lie. It's 25 degrees outside. It's disgusting. But yeah, it's we're living. We're living. And everybody, also welcome to the show. Another reoccurring guest who is now... Uh, Noah. <laughs> I don't know what I just said too. Okay, but hey, welcome to the show. How are you doing today, sir? I'm all right. I'm well. Actually, I just spilled ketchup on my keyboard, so I'm a bit sad now. But yeah, on your what? On my keyboard. What does that mean? Keyboard. Um, keyboard. Yeah, like you're typing or you're practicing typing or what? What are you doing? Oh my gosh. Okay, your your piano. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. Well. Wow. Wow. Okay. Oh, that's absolute class. Lovely stuff. Okay. Well, welcome to the show, Noah. Thank you for joining. All right. First, everybody, let's go over the leagues. I know nothing happened, but just, uh, just, just a little refresher of who's the boss and who's the not, not the boss and loss. First place in the Premier League, Manchester City. Second place, Liverpool. Third place, Chelsea FC. Fourth place, Arsenal. Fifth place, Tottenham. And sixth place, Manchester United. And in 20th place is Norwich City. Anybody have anything to say about the Premier League right now? Because it is about to start again and go in hot. Anything. Liverpool should be top. Liverpool should be top? Hey, you never know. They, they have 69 points right now. And Man City has... Yay! Okay. Well, that's... Yeah. I don't know why you said yay, but because of the number, because of, you know, how close they are. But... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Class. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. Liverpool is going to catch up in... And... Rodney, as a Chelsea fan, who would you want to win the league this year? Just, just be honest. I mean, Man City win it every year. And I'm kind of tired of it, and I, I'm not a Liverpool fan at all. But mm. I would, I wouldn't. Nah, I can't even say it with your face, Man City, man. I can't, I can't, I can't bring myself to say Liverpool. Um, so I mean, I, it has to be Man City for me to win it this year. Um, but outside of the uh, race for the top one, um, I think. The, the most interesting race is going to be between Tottenham and Arsenal. Mm. I think Arsenal is actually going to slip up, and I think Tottenham might actually slip into the top four. That is, you never know. They are. Uh, only thing I have to say, Leicester City. What's wrong? Ooh. Ooh. Yikes. Yikes! From fourth place contenders to oh, not even not even Europa Conference League. It's kind of kind of sad. That's, it is. That's depressing. Yeah. Man. I mean, I do you think they, need, they may need to change managers or like, what do you think is the problem? Do you think it's just the philosophy? And because I, I don't know, man. <sighs> Didn't they literally just change managers as well too to try to fix their problems? Or I think they did. Yeah, I forget who I forget who it is they appointed. I don't remember off the top of my head. Yeah, it's sad. Uh, okay, Abed, who do you think is gonna <laughs> win the league, <laughs> or who you want to at least? Well, let's not let's not forget about the who you want to because that's not gonna happen. Yeah, I know Manchester United; they're in the mud. No, but if Liverpool wins it, they tie Man United. Yeah, yeah. If City wins it, they're not gonna tie Man United. They're not gonna even get closer to Man United. They'll probably tie. I don't know. Who, who leads. But uh, <laughs> I mean, everybody want to see a third still. So Liverpool coming all the way from the back. The thing about it, you know. Uh, if you look at the schedule, yeah, Liverpool and Man City might end up playing four games in the span of less than two weeks, Jeez. and those four games gonna decide almost four trophies. 
Wow. Yeah, that is true. That is very true. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, this, so, is what, this is why we love the be... Premier League, though. Mm-hmm. So. Very true. It's just not, it's not just the Premier League. I mean, we're talking about the, you know, the Cup, Champions League spots, all that stuff. Yeah. If, if I had to pick, I prefer seeing Liverpool play more than City. Okay, well, fair enough. I mean, Man City has just been dominating, honestly, just so much right now. And yeah, to see them I win believe- another trophy, it's kind of I mean, boring. Yeah, it gets boring, you know? Yeah, okay, well. Yeah, but, okay. Well, in general, Pepe Guardiola only lost, if I'm not mistaken, only a couple league titles, and that's it, or three league titles. Very true. And the Champions every- League. <laughs> Uh, the champions, that's a different story. But if they end up signing Haaland, no one's stopping that. Uh, I hope that doesn't happen. I really hope that. So happens. far, they are the leaders. Oh, I so. know. Okay, well, now let us go into La Liga. First place, Real Madrid. Second place, uh, Sevilla. Yeah. No games happened this week. I know, I know, I know. Third place, Barcelona climbing up there. Nice. Fourth place, Atletico Madrid. Fifth place, Real Betis. Sixth place, Real Sociedad. And seventh place Villarreal, and in twentieth place is Levante. I mean, Real Madrid already won. I mean, do we even have to say anything about this? Yeah. I mean, Barcelona could potentially come back. <laughs> uh, if if <laughs> they would have to win like every game, and Madrid would lose like I think like three or four, something like that, something insane. I mean, but Zima is out right now, so you never know. You never True. know. True. But True. I don't know how long. Abba, do you know how long he's gonna be out for? It will be good for Chelsea. Oh, well. Hey, we've done it again, so you never know. All right. Bundesliga, let us get into it. First place, Bayern München. Second place, Dortmund. Third place, Bayern Leverkusen. Fourth place, RB Leipzig. Fifth place, Freiburg. And in sixth place, Hoffenheim. And seventh place, Köln. And in 18th place is Fürth. Bayern won. I mean, Dortmund. Yeah, they're, they're, they're not going to... Dortmund's not going to win. They always going to slip up. They had the chance to catch up yeah. with their past game. And, Bayern winning this league next one week. One to one. League it's, after hmm, it's sad. It's sad to hear, but hey, that is how the world this works. The, I mean, this is the true farmers' league. I mean, yeah, because they farm all the players just for Bayern, and then also for Dortmund. But then Bayern yeah, takes the I mean, even players. like they say that the French league is the farmers' league. But if you look at the titles, it's not like always PSG winning that title. Yeah, I mean that's very true, and also that PSG doesn't take all the good French players; they always go out yep. like to other teams too. So, like exactly. So, I believe the true farmers' league will always be the German league. Yeah, and in definition, to farm is to harvest and crop. So, PSG's not really yeah. doing that as much as Bayern does. So, you know, barely, barely, barely you see them signing French players. Yeah. Okay. Well, now let's go on to Serie A. First place is AC Milano. Second place is Napoli. Third place is Inter Milano. Fourth place is Juventus. Fifth place Atalanta. Sixth place AC Roma. Seventh place Lazio. And in twentieth place is Salernitana. It's it's a, gonna be a tight race for this. Honestly, I I don't have anything else to say about it because Inter been I'm disappointing. Happy. Juventus been pretty uh, Arsenalish. I mean, anything. Uh, it, Tammy Abraham is doing great for this league. Holy shoot. Holy shoot. But, yeah. Anything you guys want to say about this league? That Chelsea should not have given away Tammy Abraham. I mean, maybe he fits this league more than the Premier League. So, you never know. True, true. but also Lukaku, Lukaku went uh, was at Inter and did get there for a year. Comes over to the Premier League and does bad. So, I mean, like, could be yeah. re- reversed. So, I mean, you're, you, could, you could be right, so. Yeah, and also we have a 65 million buyback clause for Tam Abraham. So you never know. If he becomes, you know, great and comes back, you know, swollen up and like out of Metro Array and ready to fit <laughs> to score, honestly, why not? He can join again. But I just, who do you think? Okay, Rodney, who do you think is going to win this league this year? Honestly, um, I got to go with AC Milan. I just, just, just everything about AC Milan is just looking too good. Okay. Especially with Frank Kessier in the middle. I mean, just he's just the absolute unit. And so I think um, Barcelona getting him for free at the end <laughs> yeah. of the summer is going to just, it's, it's, it's insane. Yeah. Yeah. Thank that you. is very true. All right. Um, also, uh, let me ask Noah, who do you think is going to win the Serie A title this year? 
I think the same to be honest. I should be alarm. Okay. I can't see Napoli will slip up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, although I'm the SC Milan fan here, I will positively say it's gonna be Inter Milano. Whoa! What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you watch if you watch the league as much as I do, you will know that AC Milan is not as ready as Inter Milan to win the league. Yeah, title. but the thing is that they slip up so much Inter Milan with the past. No, games. and but the, the reason why that happened is just because of Brozovic's injury. That's very true. One, but he Brozovic, signed a one, deal. He signed a new deal. Yeah, I know. And once Brozovic is back in the team after the break, no one is stopping Inter Milano. Mm. It's crazy so, how AC one Milan, player can do that. Well, wow. I mean. Yeah, a, he has such a good impact on connecting the defense with the uh, attacking off, offline. So, yeah, when it comes to AC Milan, they don't have the bench to win titles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's and true. And that's the problem. And that's, I mean, even if they don't win the league, they are not respond. You know, they shouldn't even be asked to win the league. Yeah, just keep staying in the top four, keep getting the money from being the Champions League, and slowly you're gonna end up reaching the level of competing to win the title. But if they win it, perfect. Yeah. If not, well done to them. Yeah. Uh, well done to their coach. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to say Inter Milan because the squad depth. That's that's all that wins league, squad depth. You got to have good squad depth. Look at Liverpool, look at Man City. Look at, yeah, just you got to look at the, the benches, Bayern, especially. Whew. Well Bayern, done to Bayern, the coach. Bayern. Remember, that, like, you know who should start and who should be the bench. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But th- when you see Milano, there is no one. Sad I mean, their top, their top two strikers are injured. One is four years old, and the other is thirty five or something. Giroud, <laughs> Giroud has that and the yeah. guy says like, "When I also keep uh, playing, yeah, until he sees someone better than him." What the heck is that? <laughs> you are four old. You are four years old. They just retire already. No. He's a lion. The the biggest lion never retires. What a lion, man! <laughs> He should be Italian. He gets he ages like fine wine. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Let's go now to League One. And first place, Uber. PSG. Wow. Surprise. <laughs> oui, oui. Second place, Marseille. Third place, Rennes. Fourth place, Nice. Fifth place, Strasbourg. Sixth place, Lille. Seventh place, Monaco. And eighth place, Lyon. And in 20th place is Bordeaux. I mean, PSG uh, won. That's, do we have to say anything else? But they're disappointing. Yes, they lost to Monaco three nil with Ben Yedder, the FIFA goat, getting a hattie. But do we have to say anything else about that? Not really. I honestly, I don't watch much of the Farmers League, so not much input here. <laughs> yeah, no one watches Lego. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> they used to watch it for Messi, but Messi's been kind of dusty lately. So. Oh, uh, I, no, don't I, even... can't, I can't even watch it for him. Like it's just so boring that league, man. You try. You try. For Messi, but it's just like no, no, yeah. it's unbearable. Uh, yeah, so boring. Uh, he ruined his career. He could have had a better choice, but whatever. Yeah, even uh, commentators hey. sound bored on that. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. Uh, hey, just... at least we're getting him in the MLS. Hey, hey, yeah. The, at, at least in the MLS, people will be cheering his name ninety minutes, not booing him. Like they do. MLS is actually kind of entertaining, not gonna lie. Okay, all right. Okay. Noah. He's not oh, wrong. Noah. Noah's actually preaching a little bit. What? How? <laughs> it's, I mean, it's, it's it's interesting because like it's a it's a growing it's a growing league and a, the, the talent every year is getting better and better. I mean, yeah, that is and true. The, yes, and the fact that Messi and probably Ronaldo's gonna come over next will just bring more attention to it, along with Neymar. So I mean. The level, I think, is just slowly increasing to the point. I think, like, maybe 20 years down the road, it'll get to the point of maybe, like, League One, maybe um, Serie A level. But that's, like, 20 years down the road. Yeah, eh, I, 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 I'd agree. But, I mean, I, I currently, you know, I went to Chicago Fire game. They played uh, Orlando City. I got to see Shakiri play for Chicago and then Alexander Pato play for Orlando. Ooh. And the quality is just on another level with Shakiri and Alexander Pato compared to everybody else. It's like you, you go to those games just to see the legends. And, and, they're, and they're old and they're doing phenomenal. Exactly. Shakiri, the magician. But th- to see everybody like at the same level, that's going to be, yeah, like you said, 20 years down the line. It'll take time. It'll take a lot of time. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Well, 
now let us get into the World Cup qualifiers that have been happening. First thing, oh, Italy is out of the World Cup again for the, is this the second year in a row? A second World Cup in a row, right? Yeah. yeah. This is the second. Oh my gosh, they lost to North Macedonia in the 90th minute. Oh my. Italy could have won. They could have won that game so easily, but they just didn't put the chances. Berardi, man. Like, how many chances did he have? Like eight? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's just sad. I mean, Italy out of the World Cup as well. And now Austria is out too because Wales with Gareth Bale doing a beautiful, as we hey! say. Yeah. I mean, it. Gareth Bale's slogan is Wales Golf Madrid. That's that's how it goes. That's how it goes, and you cannot say anything different. I'm I mean, Welsh, so I love it. Oh, I hey. think I think honestly Madrid just kind of shits on Bale. I think if they just actually like cared about him a little bit more, I feel like he actually would produce more. I just think Madrid just don't take care of him as they should. I don't personally. think Gareth Bale cares as much. Honestly. That is also true. <laughs> I'll give you that. Uh, <laughs> There's a difference. He stopped caring. Yeah. And also, uh, Portugal did beat Turkey, where Turkey could have came back in the, I think, 85th minute with a penalty and tied it 2-2. But uh, in the end, uh, Portugal advances, and they do. Who do they play, I believe? North Macedonia, to see who goes to the World Cup. Imagine if North Macedonia kicks out Portugal of the World Cup and Italy. <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully. That would be amazing. At, the, at that time, I just want them to win the World Cup, honestly. Just go all the way. Why not North Macedonia? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, anything, anything else you, you guys want to talk about about the World Cup qualifiers? So I thought because Italy won the Euros, they would automatically qualify for the uh, World Cup. Doesn't work like that, sadly. No. Nope. That okay. So I was. That's the only thing I was confused about. So I was just like, oof. But never mind. Yeah, it's it is how it is, and Italy they can at least take a vacation now and do what they need to do. Why not? So, okay. Well, now let us get into the Champions League and the quarterfinals were announced. Chelsea, Real Madrid, Atletico <sighs> Madrid, and Manchester City, Villarreal and Bayern Munich, and Benfica and Liverpool. I mean, I, I did send out a little thing for everybody to fill out. And for me, let me go first. I predicted between Manchester City and Atletico Madrid that Man City would go fourth and then Chelsea and Real Madrid a little biased but Chelsea would go ahead and go and also Benfica and Liverpool I mean Liverpool as much as I don't like them they're going to go through Villarreal Bayern Munich as much as I don't like Bayern Munich as well Bayern Munich is going to go through and between Bayern Munich and Liverpool I believe Bayern Munich is going to win and Chelsea and Man City hopefully if Pep gets attacked this wrong <laughs> yeah I hope Chelsea's going to win and then I hope Chelsea's going to win the whole thing Squad depth, hopefully, it's chilly. Ben Chilwell comes Bayern back. No. What did you say? Versus Bayern. You want to be chilly. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey. It, it's, it's, it happened before. Ten years ago, specifically, ten years ago, Bayern Munich it, played Chelsea yeah. in the final in 2012. And Didier Drogba. <laughs> so now Lukaku is going to be your Didier Drogba? Okay, well, I'm not going to say that much. But, you know, Lukaku. you never know. Okay. okay, well, that's my explanation. And let me go for next Abed. Take the floor. You are the next one. What do you got to say? Yeah, here went with mostly history and kind of also. I, I'm not gonna say surprises because picking Atletico Madrid to win against Man City is something that I really believe is gonna happen. Yeah, with the with Guardiola, you know, really find a hard time playing against such teams mm -hmm. that play defensively and just depend on counter attacks. And when you look at the players that Atletico Madrid has in the counterattacks. Uh, Suarez, Griezmann, uh, Joao Felix these days. Uh, I do believe Atletico Madrid is going to end up winning and getting clutch against Man City. Fair enough. Now, when it comes to Real Madrid and Chelsea, that the disadvantage that Chelsea has with having no fans and also with all these, you know, regulations that have been going against Chelsea, I do believe that that's going to affect him against Real Madrid. I believe that Real Madrid will take advantage of that and qualify for the next game. Fair. Okay, nice. Now, Fair. for the other side, I don't, I don't think I need to do any explanation when it comes to Liverpool and Bayern mention going yeah. to the semifinal. I think that's obvious for everybody. Although I do believe that Villarreal is going to be 
gonna it's, it's gonna be a tough opponent to beat when it comes to Bayern München. Agreed. Yeah. Now, the most anticipated game that I do believe whoever wins that game is gonna win the Champions League is gonna be Liverpool versus Bayern Munich. Yeah. A game that's gonna remind us of the game that they played a couple of years ago, where Liverpool ended up qualifying against Bayern Munich. Yeah. And I do believe Bayern's gonna lose that game. Because Ooh. of the comes to squad depth, I do believe that Liverpool right now has a better squad depth. Yeah, and I do believe that they are in top form compared. They have the mentality right now to win no matter what. Mm. So I do believe that they're gonna get that advantage. Now Atletico Madrid and Real Madrid history is gonna repeat itself again. Real Madrid is gonna win that game, mm. and the final biggest game of them all, the repeat of the final of 2018. Yeah. Liverpool this time is going to take advantage because they don't have carriers. <laughs> hey, you never know. You never know. Allison can turn into carriers. <laughs> no. I mean, Benzema's there, so. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, well, okay, well, thank you, Albert, for your input on this. And Rodney, you are next, my good sir. And let me know what your opinion is. And talk me throughout your, you know, your choices. All right. I think Chelsea is going to, first of all, go all the way because – Real Madrid, I mean, I love them to death, but they've just been kind of inconsistent a little bit here and there, especially without – if Benzema ever gets injured, if he's out, um, just like we saw with this past um, El Clasico, Real Madrid's pretty much screwed. I mean, they have a very good midfield, but it's an aging midfield, and that's what I'm really concerned about. Um, it's just it's, – their midfield is kind, of, kind of old at this point, and I don't think they have the stamina besides Modric to kind of keep up with these younger midfields that are pretty much out there at the moment. Um, especially with N'Golo Conte, if he's ever fit, oh. Madrid just can't Madrid can't beat him. There's just nothing even Modric can do about that. Um, on the other side, with Man City versus Atletico Madrid, like Abed was saying, um, Man City just does not do the best against defensive teams, um, and that's exactly what Atletico is. Luis, Su- Luis Suarez, Jao Felix, Griezmann on the counterattack are just lethal. Um but I, I do think when um, Chelsea and Atletico meet up, because I do believe that's going to happen, um, Chelsea probably will struggle a little bit against Atletico um, just because they both can be defensive at times and rely off the counterattack. I'll be, I think it'll be a very interesting game if those two face off, but I do think Chelsea will win it. On the other side, um, rest in peace, Benefica. It was good while it lasted, but... There's just no way you're getting past Liverpool, especially with their um new signing with Luis um Diaz. what's his name, oh, Luis, um, Diaz. Luis Diaz, bro. Mm. I swear that no look pass he does, filthy, filthy. Um, Ola, <laughs> big big baller. He's like he's he's honestly like almost like a I'm gonna relate to basketball a bit, but almost like a young Kyrie almost is what it looks like. A young Kyrie Irving. I don't, I don't know who that is. No, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about, Ronnie. Yeah, I agree. He's, he's kind of saucy. So um, that and this the squad depth of Liverpool, like Abit was also saying earlier, is now just kind of insane at this point. So I mean, Liverpool is going to easily beat Benfica. Um, and um, with Bayern and Villarreal, it's, Villarreal is a good team, but it's it's also Bayern, so they're not going to really beat Bayern. So another um, animal facts um but the reason why i think liverpool will beat bayern munich is because the aging defense of bayern munich um it's it's it, it's a it's a it's a defense that no longer has alaba that um i think sul sule is um, injured at the moment and alfonso davies is still having i think issues so i think their defense is really was going to come back to kind of hurt uh, hurt them um i'm not really concerned about the midfield or their offense as much as their defense i'm kind of worried about and Liverpool's offense is just too good. So I think they're just going to breeze past their defense, in my own opinion. Um, now, with the Liverpool final versus Chelsea versus Liverpool, Ooh. I think that will be the best final um, out of all the games. Um, and I think, it, honestly, it, I think it will be close. I think um, um, it will honestly come down to a battle of the goalkeepers um, for Chelsea versus Liverpool, in my opinion, and also Lukaku if he just decides to turn it back on. So – I think Chelsea will come out on top, um, mainly because we have Eduardo Mendy in goal, the best, one of the best goalkeepers. He got snubbed, in my opinion, versus Donnarumma. Donnarumma. Oh, really? Everybody knows that. Come on, everybody knows that. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, I think it's going to be Chelsea, even with even with my own bias. I think it is because of just the amount of um 
because uh, I think by that time, um, Reese James, if we got that far, we would have Reese James and Chilwell back. Yeah, so, as long as he doesn't put Kepa on the penalties. Oh my gosh, no. Oh God, please. Send, send them out. Send them out. <laughs> no. No. Yeah. I uh, cried. I cried at that, dude. Oh, I'm just saying. Okay. That was funny. Yeah, yeah. Oh God, but yeah, that's my take on it. <laughs> okay, well, thank you, Rodney. That was that was great. All right, Noah, you are next, lad. Let us see what you have to do. Um, oh, what, what oh yeah. Um, so <laughs> I think all of you were different to me. Um, in the Man City game. Yeah. I mm. just think. No, I said Man, Man City as well too. Oh, uh, I just think that Atletico always struggled like in the uh, in these types of stages. Um. I don't think they're ready as they have been previous years. Um, Man City, that's uh, the Champions League is the only thing they're looking for. So I think they'll proper fight for it. And that's why I think they'll win that game. And then uh, Real Madrid, Chelsea, I think that Real Madrid could still do this, you know, like they came back in, like, in that uh, PSG game. Like, and it, it's just, yeah, I did too on a subtle PSG would smash him, but they proved me wrong. Um, <laughs> hmm. yeah. And then um, I'm going in a weird order here, but then the Bayern, uh, yeah, it's just, it's Bayern, isn't it? Like, true. They're sick. Um, <laughs> there, true. there wasn't really much thought behind that. I just, no, no, no. It's, um, it's Bayern are going to win. Um, <laughs> And then Liverpool, Benfica, yeah, we're just sick in the moment. Liverpool are so like mm-hmm. we're gonna win. Not much for went behind that either. It's just Benfica and it like, um, and then I'm not. I wasn't even trying to be biased here. I just think that Liverpool are playing so well this season. I don't yeah. think like I. I don't. I'm not worried about any of the teams. Whereas previously I would have been worried, but like I'm not actually worried. I feel like we could actually go the whole way. Yeah. Fair. And talk me through the yeah. final, the Man City and Liverpool final. What do you think? Oh, man, I, was, I think that would be tough. Like, But I reckon we could do it. Um, I don't even think you could go to extra time. I reckon, like, last-minute winner. I, I, wanna, I want Luis Diaz. Oh, if Luis Diaz scores, I will – oh, man. Get a tattoo of him, yes. I would get a tattoo of him. I will run down the street naked when he scores. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Also, also, we need videos if that happens. No, we do not need videos of that. Please, thank you very much. No, yeah, I, yeah. I, I think I'll he's writing me videos. videos. I'll send you the videos. Thank okay. you. Okay. Wait, Noah, how old are you now? Uh, I'll be 18 when it happens. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, as long as it's fine. All right. I mean, okay. he's doing it for the public. He's not doing it for me, you know. He's going yeah. in the public. Yeah, you know. it's, it's just for educational purposes. Oh, education, yeah. <laughs> All right. True, it's lovely, true. Lovely stuff. All right, and then um, finally, one of my best friends of Germany, she sent me this. Obviously, a Bayern Munich fan, she just crossed out every other team and said, yeah, yeah well, we are with Bayern München and Alta is scheiße. Other teams are scheiße. Shit, so... Yeah, I mean, that's about it with the Bayern Munich fan. They think they'll win everything. So, all right. Now, let us go on to Europa League. RB Leipzig is playing Atalanta. Frankfurt is playing Barcelona. West Ham United is playing Olympic Lyon. Braga is playing Rangers Football Club. All right. So, I said... What did you say? No, just getting bored. <laughs> okay. Well, <let's> <laughs> okay, well, I said first, Leipzig is playing Atalanta, and Atalanta is going to go ahead first. Braga is playing Rangers Football Club. I believe Rangers Football is going to go first. And between Leipzig and Rangers Football Club, I believe Leipzig, I mean, no, sorry, Atalanta is going to go through to the final. On the other side, West Ham United and Olympic Lyon. West Ham United doing great right now. I believe that they're going to go on to the semis. And then Frankfurt is going to beat Barcelona. And yeah, the fact that you had that. Frankfurt but the, 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 the thing, just... the thing, the squad depth at Frankfurt had right now is unbelievable. It's what? unbelievable. The young, yeah, yep, what? yep, yep. Nah. It's, you put thi- Frank, and you're the, using the, the squad depth. Like Barca doesn't have the best squad depth in the world right now. Just listen, it's a young squad depth that no one knows about, but they are dangerous with it. There's a reason 
that they are surviving right now in the Bundesliga yeah, without, and there is money, a reason without money. Also favorites. I mean, Barca without the money, look at them right now. They, they are almost defeating everybody 4-0 or four goals with four goals. Yes. So my you, prediction you... for that game is four for Barca. Okay, okay. Well, I believe that Frankfurt will play Atalanta in the final and that Frankfurt will take it home. And as unbelievable as I say, I hope it happens. I, I hope it happens being biased with Frankfurt and Hey, okay. Well, Abed, let me hear you now. Let me hear what you got to yeah, say now. With the best game, Barca beating Frankfurt. Yep. <laughs> no doubt there. And I don't need to explain it. I mean, Xavi already explained it with his performances as a coach right now. Fair. But it will be a tough game. The thing about these games is really unpredictable because, you know, you're playing in a league that you don't belong to. And you're playing against teams that you have no experience with. But just to keep in mind that the goalkeeper of Frankfurt has had PTSD after the Barca PSG game. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin Trapp. Yep, we know. We know. But besides that, Frankfurt are going to be a tough opponent for Barca. I do believe they will be a bit harder to beat than Galatasaray. Yeah. But in general, I do believe that Barca has the quality and the ability to qualify in that game. Okay. Now, West Ham and Lyon will be a very interesting 50-50 game. Yeah. I honestly just went with the fact that West Ham might have more experience these days compared to Lyon. Yeah. But in here, hey, I'm not going to be surprised if Lyon beat West Ham because uh, they end up having a surprise against Pep Guardiola. Very true. Very true. So West Ham, Barca, and the semifinals, Barca are reaching the final, in my opinion, Oops. due to the advantage that they have against the Premier League teams. Yeah. The other side, Atalanta versus Leipzig, also one of the best games that you might see. Leipzig has the advantage of being kind of like in a break since they didn't play against Spartak Moscow because of the conflict that's going on right now. Oh, yeah. Yikes. But Atlanta, with their offense playing, they should have kind of a good advantage. Although I won't be surprised if Leipzig beat Atlanta. Yeah, very true. Rangers... Versus Rangers, Rangers, Rangers. I mean, it's Rangers, one of the best teams in Scotland, I believe. Right? They they had a good fairy tale, so I have to go with them. They beat Dortmund last last round mm-hmm. Very true. with four goals in one of the games. So gotta go with the Rangers, but then the fairy tale has to end against Atlanta mm-hmm. and Barca Atlanta. Very tough game. Yeah, it's going to be a great game, honestly. I can't wait to watch that if it happens. If that happens, it's going to be a very tough game. But Barca, I think, will have the advantage of playing home. Yeah. So I do believe they're going to end up beating Atlanta and play the winner of the Champions League, okay. which might be cool. Yeah. So it's going to be the rematch of corner taking quickly. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Noah's, yeah. Noah's loving that right now. Okay. All right. Well, now it is Rodney's turn, and let us hear what you got to say, mate. I mean, you're kind of the same as Abed as well, too. Actually, Ooh. you're exactly Ooh. the same. Dang. <laughs> literally Dang. everything he was saying, I was literally agreeing with. Um, choppy ball all the way. I love Man uh, West Ham. Um, it's just they're kind of inconsistent at the moment um, here and there in the Premier League, and so I just think they're just their inconsistencies, inconsistencies uh, will be exposed by Chavi ball. Um, um, I would say Rangers on the other side is it's Rangers. Um, uh, they're gonna make it up until Atlanta just because it's Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah. Um, literally everything I bet said, I literally pretty much agree with. So I mean, yeah, yeah. that's my take. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was a match. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, now it is Noah's no. turn, and let us. Ooh. I mean, you had the same thing as well, so. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely stuff, guys. Everybody except me. Good stuff. <laughs> do, do, do you even have anything to say about this, Noah? Or are you just going to say, I agree with everybody else? <laughs> well, like, what else am I supposed to say? Yeah, exactly. I don't know why <laughs> I even tried. That you're, wrong. that you're wrong. Okay. Well, everybody can say it in three, two, one. Come on, say it. I'm wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. wrong. Okay. You're wrong. Thank you. You, you might be right, though. It might oh. surprise me. From a the Barca Frankfurt fan. one though is kind of sus. That's the only thing. I okay. I'd say if Frankfurt was on the other side of the of the you know playing maybe Leipzig or something like that, then it'd be different. But it is Barcelona, so 
it's kind of heated there. So, hey, why not? Well, we can only dream. All right. And also, in, um, yeah, my German friend said that Barcelona is going to go all the way. I mean, logical. Someone who doesn't know much about football just knows Barcelona. Europa League, easy. All right. Now, let us get into our favorite league. The UEFA Europa Conference League. And honestly, for, I didn't ask you guys to do this at all because I don't even know half of these t- limits. But uh, I believe, is this a Swedish or a Danish team or from Nor- Norwegian team? Uh, does anybody know? Limits? No. Oh, uh, okay. no. Danish, aren't they? Danish. No. Are yeah, they? Maybe. I don't know. Are, are they? I, I don't, don't know. know. Only. I know the other two. I know the other teams, but what, I only. What's the name again? Limit Bordeaux. Or I that was French. What the hell am I saying? Um, yeah. limit. I, I'm looking them up right now. Um, they are from the Norwegian. Yeah, Norwegian. You're correct. You are correct. Yeah, Bodo. Is, is that Bo- man, that team defeated Roma six one, in the in the group stages. Yeah, <laughs> and now they're playing Rome again. Yeah, they are. It's gonna be. I mean, honestly, okay. I'll just say first who I believe is gonna win. I believe that Roma is gonna win. The final. Nah. Yep. I'm sorry, but I believe that Roma's going to win. Okay. Um, we'll yeah, go in order. Abed, who do you think is going to win um, the final? Um, in the final? Yeah. Lister City. Okay. All right. Fair shout. Fair shout. And also, Rodney, who do you think is going to win the Europa Conference League? I think it's – I can't put my finger on it. I think it's between PSV and AS Roma. Okay. All right. Do you, if you had to choose one. Uh, PSV. Okay, hey, fair shout. They are doing very hard right now in the, uh, in the, the Dutch league. What is it called? Air Divisor. I think so. Air yeah. Air Device. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And also, Noah, who do you think is gonna win? Afterwards, I think it's gonna be PSV as well. Okay. Nice. Hey. I like that. Okay. Well, yeah. Let me start. Uh, Limit is playing. Limit Bordeaux, the Norwegian team is playing AC Roma. Uh, Fair Nord, F- F- I can't say that. Abed, can you help me out with the pronunciation of this one, please? Fair Nord. Nord. We're talking about Fair Nord. Yeah, Fair Nord. Uh, Rotterdam is playing Slavia Praha, and also Marseille is playing. Oh my gosh, I cannot say this name. Help me out, please. Nat? Is that not? What's? I don't know that. <laughs> That's, that's I, the... I've seen the team before. I've seen the team before, yeah. but I don't know what, like, uh, I, see, I even look it up in it. Um, they are from Greek. Oh, they're Greek. Greek professional football team. I, right. know they, I know they're Greek, but I don't know how to spell their name. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's Palk. Yeah, it's basically how you pronounce it. That's okay. They're playing Marseille and then Leicester City PSV. That's going to be a great game right there, honestly. Oh, Just yeah, right you're there. right. It's full Palk. Palk. Yeah. But yeah, Leicester City PSV. That's gonna be a great game as well too. So, oh uh, yeah, I think PSV versus uh, Leicester City is gonna be the best game. Okay, yeah, fair. But all right, that was the Europa Conference League, and that's basically it for the show, guys. I mean, thank you for joining, giving me your opinions with all this stuff. And honestly, now it, we just have to wait and see and watch some great football. That's all we can do right now. So, yep, one love football. Yes, one well, level. Any any comments or concerns or any transfers that might be happening that any of you guys know about? Lewandowski to Barca. Oh, what the, oh wow! Oh my! What is with Barca being linked? They were linked to Holland last but, week. Uh, the most realistic one is uh, Rafinha, right? No, no. Besides Christian, I think that's a done deal already. Uh, yeah. If not, yeah, I think he already even signed. Maybe. Then Holland, so, Holland to City. I'm guessing. No. Holland, Holland is not going to go to Barca. Holland might end up going to either City or Real Madrid. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cool. When it comes to Barca, they already signed Frank Kisse from Milan, Christensen yeah. from Chelsea. Now yeah. they are talking about Rafinha from Leeds United. Yes, I heard of that as well, too. Uh, Chelsea Fabrizio. was linked to him, too, and they were wanting to get him, but sanctions. Yeah. Fabrizio Romano also confirmed those news, and Barca already have a deal with the player for five years. Hey, I'm not going to believe anything Fabrizio Romero has to say now because he's depressed because of Italy. So, you know, my man's down the, bad. The my fact that I lost trust in Fabrizio Romero after Messi lo- ended up leaving Barca is just... Disrespect. You can't do that to the Messi. But in general, when everybody agrees, that means it's something happening. Now, the fact is just Leeds won 75 million. 
<laughs> but Barca willing only to pay 25 million. So yeah. we'll see what happens. How uh, old is he? He's like 27, I believe, right? I think he's a f- maybe even younger. Hmm. I, yeah. Yeah, you might be I, right. I think, yeah, I think he's younger than 27, but I mean, but man, he is way younger. Oh, he's 25. But, you're right. 25 yeah. years old. 25. Rafinha is? Yeah. Yeah. But, okay, but my thing with Rafinha, though, is um, if if the, if Barcelona keeps Dembele, which I don't know if they are quite yet, why go for Rafinha? If you have a Dama Troy as well. Mm. They just because need, of, they need well, to play that 8 2 2. Or eight two one. <laughs> no, because he most likely will not end up staying in Barca. That's probably fair. Rafinha is gonna be there, but in general, Rafinha is gonna be there, place of Osman Dembele, who's leaving. Mm. But what do you think Usman's gonna go then? Do you think he's gonna go to Chelsea? Is, I... No, no, no. He already signed with PSG. Whoa! What? Yeah, he is gonna be there, place of. I mean, fair enough. He's going back home. It's gonna yeah, be easier for him to yeah. commute to the World Cup and link up with yeah. Barca. Going to so. see Messi once again and Neymar. Yeah. Well, Neymar fact, Neymar's leaving, though, so it's probably Messi. Yeah, but the fun fact, though, the guy who came to replace Neymar is going to join Neymar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Well, Noah, you got anything else to say, lad, besides uh, Luis Diaz is amazing right now? <sighs> that, that I'm cool, and you should all buy Griffify. Oh, yeah. Speaking of it, um, now... Uh, Noah is the social media director for Gripify UK, which is actually a sock brand that you can wear. That's very, I mean, it's grip. That's it has good grip to your oh, full shoe. So, sponsors now. I mean, hey, in the future, you never know. Just Noah, show, just yeah. let me know. And hey, <laughs> it's, it's owned by Street Planners Roll, professional freestyler. No? Yeah, yeah, we know, we know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, now let us go to our favorite time of the week, and you thought we were going to forget now. Football Memes of the Week, brought to you by Rivals Fan Service and Troll Football. Emil Heskey, you beautiful man. Let us see the first meme. And the first meme, oh yeah, is this. <laughs> Thomas Party and Thomas After Party. <laughs> Thomas Party had a lookalike, the, the, the Arsenal uh, man. Who, who does he play for? Is it, is it Ghana or Cameroon? Ghana. Ghana, yeah. yeah. He went to Ghana for the AFCON qualifiers, and there's a guy that looks just like him there at the camp. And oh, it, it's it looks funny. It's it's Thomas Party and Thomas After Party, and then the no. caption says comparing people comparing KDB to Bruno Fernandes. <laughs> Hate to say it. Hate to say it, but yeah, lovely stuff. I, I I'm sure that's even a fake Gucci bag on Thomas After Party right there. So it is what it is. All right, next meme. Oh, this is going to hurt you guys a lot because it hurt me. Football is losing its soul. And this is basically all the badges of football clubs that have changed in the past five years. Juventus, mm. Inter Milano, Manchester City, uh, Steverange Football Club, Brentford, De- Deportivo, Alaves, and oh my gosh, well, I should know what this club is called. Anybody can help with this. Sheffield with this Wednesday. Sheffield Wednesday. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. And then Fontina. I mean, the, I like the badges back then. They had, yeah, I agree. They had soul. They had soul to it. They had more characteristics. They had, life. They had everything. Exactly. They look stupid now. They, yep, agree. They had history. They did have history, and now it's just trying Come to be on. more retro, trying to do the PowerPoint editing. What is the point of Vior, Fiorentina's one? It's literally just not the same, but just a different shape. Yo, they had to make it more realistic to the young kids, the young whippersnappers. <laughs> yeah. Who cares about them? Yeah, exactly. All right. Honestly, I think the saddest one is the Man City one, in my opinion. Really? Yeah, because yeah, something about that Man City badge with Yaya Torre and Aguero. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or the Juventus one. Yeah, true. And Inter it's- Milan kind of disappointed me, but I kind of like the new badges growing on me. It's growing on me a little bit. The enter one's not too bad, honestly. Um, it's it's just not the same. Yeah, yeah. and Sheffield Wednesday Has- as well too. Ugh. Mm. Hashtag women play Stevenish today. Actually, really? How how that go? Uh, one like four or five nil. <sighs> yeah. Disrespect. Nice. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now let us see the last meme, and what do we have to say about this? <laughs> La Liga showing stop invasion, but them allowing Barca. To take over Real Madrid at the Bar- Bernabeu. Oh. <laughs> it was a piece of art. 
Why would they do that? That's so bad. <laughs> I love it. Well, uh, I mean, mm. I mean, you can't blame them. It was true. Yeah, I mean, a four invasion. to nil, four to nil with or, Obama Yang. Four to nil with course for being the best player of the match. That's sad. That's sad. And yeah, but on a serious note, Ukraine, Russia, yikes. But um, yeah, stop invasion at, at the Bernabeu and also in Ukraine. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching the show. Lovely having all of you on. Abed, thank you for joining as always. What? Of course, buddy, of course. Rodney. It was a good, yes. Long one. So. It was a long one. Indeed. Yeah. Rodney, thank Very you for good. joining too. Of course, fam. Anytime. Anytime. I love it here. Atmosphere is amazing. Yes. Thank you. And also the real Britain here. Um, or sorry, the real Welsh men in here. No, I don't even know. what Are you Are you Brit or are you Welsh or what, what are you? Britain counts as Wales, England, Scotland, and Ireland. So technically I am British. Uh, and... some, some people don't agree with that. <laughs> some people would rather say, you know, they're English or they're Welsh or they're Scottish or, you know. Well, Britain, Britain. So I'm just okay. speaking facts here. Just facts. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for joining as well, too. Lovely input. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah until next week okay yeah until the football starts again in a week or so all I right know. well thank you guys for watching the show like subscribe and sharing it because while i was sharing it how else are you going to spread the italy's out of the world cup I, I i can't believe i'm saying that north macedonia how how oh my gosh but okay well everybody thank you for joining and as we say in three two one one love, love football. football thank you guys for watching and Bye. Bye.